I'm Mevon from Explicit Entertainment, music producer. Right now, Explicit, we're involved in, um, well, my latest release is a Parang single actually, um, by Room, Spanish Parang, um, Beyond the Parang tip, um, I've been working with um, a lot of local hip hop artists, um, inclusive of Mark Hardy and Young Rod and their project for next year. A lot of the work that we're doing right now is um, stuff material for next year. 2017 so look out for it well explicit entertainment um we are a group um we consist of artists djs songwriters producers myself being the main producer um over the past couple years we've been in existence for about five years um over the past couple years we've done a lot of music um particularly um in the hip-hop genre in Trinidad and tobago um yeah so Mark Hardy, Young Rod, all their music was produced by Explicit Entertainment and myself. Um, well, the rise of DJ Adam, DJ Adam 2MV, he's doing major things in the soca industry and Trinidad and Tobago music scene. Um, and of course, Mark Hardy, Young Rod, they, they, they burst into the music industry as well in the hip hop vein. So, I mean, those are the three major achievements. And of course, us winning a cut award last year. Um, for best collaboration with Mark Addy, Young Rod, and Jimmy October. Um, I think those are the highlights of explicit entertainment for the past couple of years. For the local hip hop scene, um, I've been involved in it from about same five years. Um, I've always loved hip hop music and I've always had um, rappers around me, even myself. Like when I was going to school, I used to rap and I used to make beats and you know what but obviously that ship has sailed um so now i'm just more into producing and making beats and that kind of stuff um but i'm heavily involved in the local scene i always attend more shows that you know once i'm available i support local support the local hip-hop artists and i even produce for a lot of the hip-hop artists in Trinidad and tobago as well um mark Hardy, young Rod, obviously um jimmy october um i did stuff with um, Umi Makano, even though he's soca, he does a lot of R&B and hip hop as well too. Um, Kevin Carter, Steph Kalu, um, and a, a, a whole set of other different underground well, or less known hip hop artists within Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, I've done a lot of work with them as well. Well, I got started um, in production. Well, it's actually funny because when we started Explicit, um, it, it was DJ Adam and myself. Um, we actually started off as explicit sounds and it was a DJ group. And um, within DJing, um, I felt, the, I always loved remixing stuff and I always loved um, crossing over genres and mixing soca with hip hop and dancehall with, with soca and that kind of stuff. Now. So I always had a passion for creating new sound. And um, it was only one day until one of my close friends gave me Fruity Loops. And I started dabbling in that and, and making my own music and even testing it out in parties. So, like, I would make a beat and put a popular song a cappella over it and make my own song. Now. And then I play it and then I would see the response and I'd be like, yo, this is a really nice feeling to have people accept your version of a song or even your material now, your work, your, your, creative process your creative thinking and from then like i really say well i said to myself you know well hey i'm onto something here i really enjoy making music and that's how i really started off it was actually by chance you know but um i'm in it and i love it being acknowledged by um cut and the music industry with Trinidad and tobago um hip-hop is not a, a a fairly popular genre in Trinidad and tobago as yet and to be awarded with the um, title of best collaboration in last year, 2015, um, Cut Awards. I believe that's a major breakthrough for us um, and myself as a producer because it, it's predominantly a Soka award and, and Soka, Soka Parang, Soka Chutney, that kind of stuff. Now. So to have a hip hop song winning an award on that night. I believe that's a that was a major breakthrough for us. Um, that's a that's our ongoing debate that has been going on even before 
I got involved in it, the accent versus the non-accent. Um, in hip hop. In hip hop. Um, in Trinidad, well, in hip hop, I should start there. In hip hop, most people believe to like you have to be true and you have to be real about yourself and that kind of thing. So if it is you want to, and music is expression. If it is you want to express yourself and you want to put on an accent to do it, you know, by all means, fine, fine, you go ahead and do your thing because I always have these arguments for and against, like. If it is you hear an American doing soca music and he sings with an American accent over a, 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 a juve rhythm, it's song weird. It won't sound authentic to the craft now. And at the same time, in his mind, I, I could understand that he wanna be himself. He he can't he doesn't really want to put on a Trinidad accent because maybe he can't do it good. He can't emulate the Trinidad accent good. And I, that's why I, I see a rappers with Trinidad accents. And the foreign accent and some do it good and some do it bad you know and my biggest problem with it is when it is you put on an accent and then you switch an accent because in America it's not about an accent every state or every um, city has their own accent because Atlanta has their trap style and then New York has their accent LA has their accent Chicago has their accent and then if it is a Trinidadian is putting on that accent you need to stop. You, you need to know if you're an ATL rapper, you're a New York rapper, or you're an LA rapper because they all have different accents. Or, so, or a Caribbean man rapping. Or a Caribbean man rapping, exactly. So, like, if you take, for example, um, these guys, what's this, this duo, who had the song with Adam Levine, what's their name? Um, I forget their name. And they now have a soca song with, with Precision. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> um, Rock City, right. R City, right? So Rock City, they are from U.S. Virgin Islands or British Virgin was Virgin Islands, and they um they are doing their thing internationally, and they still represent U.S. Virgin Islands well anywhere they go. You know, even Rihanna when Rihanna talks and she speaks to people, you can hear the Bajan and Hana. You know, so. Once it is you could do it good, I have no problem with it. That's those sound fake and you know like pronounce your words right and we we say D and and instead of the pronounce the THs and, and do it properly now, you know? Proper English. Proper English, yeah. When if it, if you're doing the people thing, do it properly. That's my take on it. This is not music related. But um my OMG moment was um two years ago I went to Brazil for World Cup and um I was always a fan of Luis Figo, which is a Portugal and Real Madrid superstar. Um, and uh, one day we were walking through Copacabana, and um, there was Copacabana's hotels, right? A lot of hotels on the beach. So we were walking by, and then this van, this FIFA um, entourage pulled up, and this one SUV um, stopped right in front of us. And there was FIFA official, whatever, whatever, on it. And, he was like, who's this? And um, before you know it, it was Luis Figo. And he stepped out of the um, of the van and he walked towards the hotel. And only a few people recognized who he was. And I was like, I talked to my partner because I was like, yo. It's like, horse, that's Figo, Dread. <laughs> like, Luis Figo is in front of me right now. And I was like, I, 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 should, I, had, I had a groupie moment because it's like, I am in Brazil and this guy is like my idol and I have to meet this guy. So I was like, I went in, I walked in the lobby, like if I was a, a guest and he was there and I was like, yo, can I have a picture please? And he was like, yeah, no problem. And I was like, I went home and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> this did not just happen. So that was definitely my OMG moment. My name is Mevon from Explicit Entertainment. Check us out on all social media, Explicit Entertainment. My page, Explicit Mevon, that's one word. X-P-L-I-C-I-T, Mevon, M-E-V-O-N, one word. And Explicit Entertainment, one word on all social media. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, you name it, be there. YouTube, everything. Boom. Too much vibes. <laughs>